Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new animal figurine review for you. This time I am reviewing the Mojo HK Limited Prehistoric Animals Triceratops. This was first molded in 2020 and I bought this in a store sometime during 2021. I bought this at a Hobby Lobby and it came with a tag wrapped around its front left leg. Here is the tag. Looks like I paid $9.99 for it plus more for sales tax. And here's the Hobby Lobby information. Here is some safety information and the Mojo HK Limited information. I used the part number or product code from Mojo HK Limited and it is 381017. So let's take a look at the dimensions of this figurine. From the tip of the horn to the curve of the tail, looks like a little more than six and a half inches long or about 17 centimeters long. At the widest point, I think at the feet there, looks like it's about two and a quarter inches wide or about five and a half centimeters wide. At the highest point, I think up to the horn there. Looks like about two and three quarter inches tall or about seven centimeters tall. So it's a nicely sized figurine. It's interesting looking triceratops. Nice big horns here. A little bit sharp but pliable. We can bend them. Nicely painted. Looks like this Triceratops is roaring. So here's the shield part of its head. Nicely uh, sculpted, lots of texture there on both sides. Lots of these little bumps here. Could be that that provides a little extra armor protection on the sides here. Although I would think this is a very dangerous dinosaur to mess around with. That's why it has the three big horns. So it's not a moving straight. It looks like we have a curved tail there and the head is uh, up while it's roaring. Very nice pose. The tip of the tail is a little bit pliable, but the rest of it is pretty thick. Down here we have a little bit of manufacturing information on the belly. Lots of sculpted details even on the bottom of the feet there. So they did a lot of nice work on this. Plus there's some paint. Looks like it's... Um, fading into the belly here. Also painted part of the leg. Now these are just a little bit pliable. If we squeeze hard enough we can bend them but we don't really want to do that. So it looks like they even put some paint detail inside the mouth there. So they did a nice job here. A lot of wrinkles here on the neck. Really very nice. Yeah, I like how it looks. And it's nicely sized. So if we want to display it, it might be better this way with the head pointed slightly towards us. Yeah, this way the head is pointed a little away from us. Yeah, it might be okay for some displays. And it's nice and stable. This is why I like to buy these in the store so I can actually test them to make sure they do not wobble and this is not wobbly. So it's a pretty nice looking dinosaur figurine. Now, I don't know how accurate the colors are but I don't think anyone in the world really knows how they would look. We've never seen um, a specimen that was well preserved enough to be able to determine the colors so we'll just have to do the best we can um, 
based on what we know about animals of today. So this might be an accurate color scheme for the Triceratops. But one of the uh, cooler looking dinosaurs. So it's pretty nice uh, dinosaur figurine. Nice for a collection. It's nice to put on display. So I like it. Thank you for watching my review. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this dinosaur, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.